Hey, so I am Summer Cronk, broker and branch manager of Remax Whatcom County's Sudden Valley office, and I am the lead of the Best Bellingham Homes team. Um, we're all staying at home, staying healthy, I hope, and I personally am in isolation. Um, so I'm by myself and have been for a couple of days now and gotta say I'm super bored. So I made a list of projects and I'm working on them and I figured I'd share a few with you. So one that I'm doing right now I think would probably apply to a lot of people and it is fixing your damaged cabinet under your sink. So I'm gonna, um, turn the camera, well not turn the camera, but I'm going to show you. So a lot of us have um, where we've had previous water damage and underneath our sink gets wrecked. So this one in particular, I'm going to try and hold the camera to show you. Um, there's lots of rough spots. I mean, this was actually peeling up in layers from previous water damage. I have gone and sanded it to try and smooth it to the best of my ability, but there's still lots of yucky edges and stuff. Um, but it's gross and it looks like crap and I'm gonna show you an easy and quick way to fix it. So I apologize, all of my video equipment is at my office where I cannot go right now. So I've got all kinds of makeshift things set up here for holding my camera. But basically the first thing you wanna do is you need to measure this piece so that we know what we're working with here. So it's not like you need to watch me measure but the camera's on so I'm gonna do it. So the space of the damaged area, 23 and 3 eighths by, sorry, it's really hard to do while you're laying on your stomach, um, 35 and 3 eighths. So basically what I'm going to do is I need to get a piece of veneer that uh, will at least be those measurements. And I'm going to show you what a piece of veneer looks like. I ordered mine from Home Depot and all I need to do is mark it and cut it. Okay, so um, complete quarantine disclosure, I'm in my pajamas. Anyways, <laughs> so what veneer is, is this, this um, whole piece is a piece of veneer. And so it's really thin, um, kind of like it's wood, but it's super thin. It's thin enough that I can cut it with scissors. You can see that it's um, wood that's been flattened and pressed out. You can see the pattern repeats. And so basically you can cut this to match the measurements in the bottom of your sink. So for me, I've already measured it out. It's 23 and 3 eighths by 35 and 3 eighths. And I'm just gonna use a razor blade to cut that piece out. And we're just going to make sure that the sink underneath is as smooth as possible. We're gonna use some wood glue and some finishing nails to tack this down flat and then stain it. And it will essentially replace the base of your kitchen cabinet. Okay, so I cut my piece of um, veneer, which you can't see in the video right now, and I have wood glue, and I just did a different veneer project, which I'll also post. Um, I think it's probably much less relevant to most people, but anyhow, um, what I did with that was I actually used this old paint roller and this paint tray to help spread the glue out. So I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna pour down a bunch of glue. I'm gonna use the ro roller to get as much coverage as possible. Um, originally with the other project that I did, I had put the glue on the veneer first, which proved to be dumb. So, cause that's just messy. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna get the glue all rolled out and then we're gonna put the piece of veneer in place. Okay, so I rolled the glue out um, and I just made sure, and actually I just see a spot that I missed, I'm trying to make sure that I get as close to the edges as possible because you don't want your edges lifting up. So I think your most important areas of getting the glue are just all the way up to the edges um, and in the corners so that everything sticks the way that you want it to. So then I have my piece of veneer that I've cut um, right here. And I am going to oops, go ahead and get it in here under the sink. It does come rolled, so um, you do want to let it lay flat for a while to kind of get the bend out of it. We'll see how well I can measure and cut. So this should be a pretty good fit. And I've got a little bit of an edge in the back here that I'm probably going to have to trim down. 
All right, I'm gonna trim that back edge for just a minute and then I will start the video again. Okay, so I just scored along the back side so that this would lay flat. Um, at this point, I would either recommend putting something heavy down on it just to hold it down to make sure that it all adheres in place or um, because I don't feel like waiting and this is under my sink so I'm not terribly concerned about what you'll see. I'm going to use uh, my nail gun. I have 18 gauge 5 8 inch nails in here and I'm just going to tack it down along the edges and along the back so that I know that it's going to stay in place the way that I want it. So it's tacked down. Um, all I need to do now is stain it. And so this is stain that I'm using, um, Daly's Wood Stain Teak. I just know that this matches the other stain in my kitchen because I've used it before. In an ideal world, I would be using a foam brush, but I am quarantined and can't go out and get one. So I'm just gonna use a paintbrush and then um, just a shop paper towel to help get the stain even. So that's it, I'm gonna stain it. Here's what it looks like under my sink now. Um, you saw I brushed on the stain and then I used a cloth to wipe it going along the grain. I wasn't super careful along the back edge just because it's under my sink, nobody's gonna see it. That stuff you see on the sides, that's dust. I need to wipe that off. But otherwise, pretty much looks good as new. So we're just gonna let the stain dry and then I'll put all my stuff back under the sink.